Today, we'll be interfacing the Kenwood TS830S transceiver to the RF Space SDRIQ software defined receiver. The SDRIQ is connected to the IF1 output of the TS830S. The IF1 output operates at 8.83 MHz and it's sufficiently wide to accommodate the 190 kHz wide panoramic function of the SDRIQ. The SDRIQ is a full HF receiver with a 190 kilohertz wide panoramic adapter. It has a antenna connector that covers 0 to 30 megahertz. It has a serial port that can be used to control an external radio like an ICOM receiver. And it has a USB port that connects to the computer and it's also used to power the unit. The SDRIQ receiver covers 0 to 30 megahertz. It uses an analog to digital converter to digitize the whole HF band at once from 0 to 30 megahertz using a 66.66 megahertz oscillator. The frequency of interest is down converted by this digital down converter chip and 190 kilohertz of bandwidth centered at that center frequency are sent to the computer through the USB port. The 190 kilohertz of INQ data are displayed on the PC using a program called SpectraView. This program gives you a waterfall display that is 190 kilohertz wide and you get both the 2D spectrum display on the top and the waterfall display on the bottom. Today, since we have the SDRIQ connected to the Kenwood TSA-30, we will actually be using it as a panoramic adapter that will track the center frequency of the TSA-30S. So as we move the VFO, as we move the VFO on the TSA-30, the display on the SpectraView software will automatically move and track the center frequency on the TSA-30. As you can see the display is very 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 fast and very high resolution. Right now we're looking at 190 kilohertz with 24 hertz of resolution bandwidth. The 24 hertz of resolution bandwidth is enough to actually read the CW as it moves down the screen. Yeah, I'm full. 